Hi there, and uh, this today in this episode of uh, the Green Truck, we are going to try and knock down a lot of the rust and stuff inside the interior here, and just give it a quick little shot of like black paint or whatever, just so that it doesn't get any worse. There are some things that will need to be welded, like these cracks and stuff, but that's definitely not today's problem. That probably will get fixed when it finally gets its front axle. Because I have to take it to work where I have welders, because I do not have one here. So, but that's basically what I'm going to do. Try to make a quick little video out of this. I've already started a little bit, but like I said, just a little bit. So, hopefully we'll have some fun. So, I'm going through here, and I'm, you know, wire wheeling like I am, and I'm trying to get, let me walk to the other side here, I'm trying to get as, you know, as much surface area at least lightly touched, and then wire wheeling the rust away thoroughly, so that, because I, I want to paint the entire floor, hopefully, <laughs> and it's going to be a carpeted floor, so it's not like uh, you'll see these scratches through the paint when everything's said and done, so it's, you know, just trying to give it some texture so the paint has something to grab. But, you know, I'm just going through here, I'm hitting this stuff like, you know, like right here so that I can get a little more, uh, you know, texture to it. And I'm finding rust spots underneath the paint that didn't even have bubbles or anything, like right in here. This was all rust that I didn't even see until I started hitting it. Well, you see, there's a little bit here, which, which I knew about, but on this side here, and especially into this corner, it wasn't very obvious. So, I can tell that I got some more at the foot well here. If this is anything like my truck, right in here is about to rust right through, but I don't want to mess with that yet. Yeah, that don't look good. Maybe I will mess with it. Yeah, I'll mess with it, I'm here. Um, so, I'm gonna get back to it, and yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, for a Florida truck, it's got a lot of rust in it, and in a pretty strange spot. <laughs> Makes me wonder if the windows were left down when it was raining a bunch of times. I'm going to call that good enough when it comes to wire brushing. Now I'm going to just grab the vacuum, try to suck a lot of this crap out here. And then I'm going to go and paint over where the paint's missing first, since whatever I got left will go elsewhere. But I wasn't trying to get rid of all the rust. Like you can see I left a little on the edge there. I might actually hit that a little bit. That's more than I want. But I didn't get rid of every little speck of rust. I just got rid of the thick of it because that's, you know, that's the bad stuff. That thin stuff... As long as you get it pretty well covered, it shouldn't get too much worse. At least that's what I've heard. But the thick stuff, it just keeps growing. So, just try to get rid of the majority of the rust there. And I'll grab some paint. 
but right now I'm going to go set up the vacuum, so see you in a second. Alright, so I ran out of uh, space on my phone when I was recording that last uh, part there with me vacuuming. Probably has a lot to do with the fact that it took me 20 minutes to unclog the pipe on the vacuum. 20 minutes is exaggerated. But, um, so I got her all vacuumed out. I'm going to go grab a towel so I can wipe down the dust that the vacuum didn't grab. And then I'm going to just start kind of spraying where the rust is and just kind of try to get all that cleaned up and now that I'm looking at it I really should vacuum up here too that stuff is very dirty and gross so I will uh, see if I can set up the camera somewhere nice and get back to work So I started with just some rusty metal primer because I have a bunch of cans of that stuff and uh, you know I don't care if I use it. <laughs> so I got the whole floor coated in the primer and I figured if I, if I coat the entire thing I can't miss anything. So that's kind of my thought process on that. When I come back and do black I'm going to just do a thin coat, you know just enough so it isn't red. That just about does it for the uh, floor in this thing. I, you know, I got some spots I got to touch up, but this back wall really doesn't matter. It's going to be covered. You know, same goes for everything like up there and all that. You know, everything's going to get covered. The floor is going to probably be the naked thing for the longest period of time, but I hope to get it covered soon. You can get a used carpet at the junkyard for like 18 bucks, and I'm, if I can find one that's in nice enough quality that is either gray or black, then I will probably buy it. But for now, this is what we got. So, thanks for watching.